Wow, let's hear it for the Glen Cove Corral, folks. These guys are great. Ed Norris, the esteemed director, and this wonderful group. How many uh, folks do we have here? We have 44 kids in the choir this year. And we fit them all in. God bless us, right? And they look great. <laughs> Thank you, you guys have been looking forward to this so have oh, we. all year. It starts the holidays for us. What's well, a yearly treat for us, That's right? right. I think this is either five years in a row that you've come I to our so. studios. Yeah, indeed. And I really feel honored because you guys are now international. Wow, I mean, you've been around the world. Uh, you've sung for President Obama and Pope Francis. In fact, I believe we have some video of your past experiences about this uh, that we're going to show here. Talk a little bit about how that all came about, starting with the president and then the pope. Well, years ago, we actually applied through our congressman, Steve Israel, uh, to perform at the White House, and we were fortunate enough to be selected. And, um, you know, we did a four-hour set of holiday music there, and, and we were fortunate enough to actually meet President and Mrs. Obama and uh, sing for them and have some, some time with them, which was absolutely amazing. Yeah, I mean, we're talking about high school on Long Island, Glen Cove. I mean, really, this is a, quite an accomplishment. How, how do you feel about it yourself? Proud, proud. I've, to this day, it's one of the, the proudest days of my life, truly. And it must be some kind of uh, situation when everybody is trying out for this corral because everybody knows about you now, right? How many people apply for your corral? Uh, every year? Yeah, that's true. Usually we have about 60 uh, students from the high school that audition, and I wind up taking about 15 or 16 or so. Well, they're really good, and people throughout the building love it. And uh, we're going to play some of these uh, throughout the holidays, and we really enjoy having you. And, you know, it's not just, uh, and also Pope Francis, did you, you spoke about that? Yes, we sang uh, in Italy uh, three years ago for uh, the Pope uh, during the Feast of the Epiphany. Some of the members of this choir were on that tour with us. And uh, in addition to singing at St. Peter's, we sang really throughout Rome, even up in Assisi, uh, which was just, you know, quite memorable for the kids and myself. So overseas, international, as I say, but also right here. We joked last year about, you know, how to get to Carnegie Hall. Practice, practice. practice. <laughs> that is. And that's certainly the case with this chorale because you guys are becoming a regular uh, uh, performance there. Tell us about yes, that. Yes, thankfully, we just uh, did a holiday concert just before Thanksgiving at Carnegie Hall uh, with some other choirs from all over the country as well as a professional orchestra. So it was a lot of fun. And you're going to do another performance with them at some point? Uh, yeah, we'll be hopefully back with them next year uh, between Carnegie Hall and Lincoln Center, uh, one of those two as well. And I believe you worked with uh, one of their very well-known conductors. Tell, talk a little bit about that collaboration because I'm sure that was a treat for you as it well, was, right? It was, and it's great for the kids to work with professional conductors and see things, you know, from the other side of, of the coin, as it were. So very rewarding for me sitting there taking notes as to what he was doing with the kids, but uh, certainly for them to see somebody else's approach. So are the, is the invitation box piling up for you guys <laughs> to go and perform? <laughs> we're, we're very fortunate to get invited a lot of places, and whatever we can fit, you know, we certainly do. It's all about experiences for the kids. Yeah, so, I mean, what is your philosophy in directing a chorale the, of this size and with the expectations that people have now? Well, you know, it's all about making each individual child feel great about what they do. And I always say to the kids when they graduate, um, I hope that we gave you something that you can be proud of and be proud to be a part of. So for me, that that's paramount to, I think, our success as an ensemble. And I would think every year you get different people, right? So you, yeah. it must be the way the strengths of the corral, do they change from year to year? And, and what would be the strength of this year's They corral? do. They really do. Um, you know, certain years I have very strong ladies, other years strong gentlemen. This particular group, it's really about the individual. I have such great people in this group. They're all talented, but as people, they're really actually some of the most wonderful students I've ever had. So I'm really enjoying spending each and every day with them in rehearsal. And what about the, the music itself? Uh, what does it entail? Uh, what sort of types of music do you use? I mean, obviously we hear holiday classics right. here, but what do you concentrate well, on? Well, we do music from all over the world from many different time periods. In fact, right now we're preparing for a concert. We're doing songs by uh, the Norwegian composer Ola Yelo. Um, that the songs are about 25 minutes in length, and they're with orchestra, piano, soloist. So they're very, very intense. They, they were written about five, ten years ago, so they're more modern in nature. And on the same program, you know, we have some 
older classical music as well. So well, they're know, pretty you diverse. You don't much to expect to get this kind of training at a, at a higher educational institute or even a specialized music institute. That's really helping these folks. Do they have career ambitions of their own? I mean, what kind of, uh, what do you hear from your students here? Well, we have a lot of kids that go into music education, uh, music therapy, musical performance, things like that. Um, but it, it's all about the kids. You know, the training we do together to prepare them, like you said, for the next level is really important to their success. You probably get job offers after this. How are we going to keep you around? Around here. Well, I'm just happy to be here. <laughs> what do you, what do you love about doing this job, Ed? The kids. Yeah. There's nothing nothing like working with children. And these guys, they're just my family. Well, they're it really seems like it's hard to top, but every year you sound better and better. Uh, thank uh, you. And we're going to let you take us to break here. What, what are you going to sing and perform for we're us We're going to sing a carol uh, called Carol of the Wise Men. Well, take it away. Ed Norris and the Glen Cove Corral. Oh. 